time of year is kind of funny because the American goldfinches, normally the males are brilliant yellow or in the winter time they're usually kind of olive, you know, kind of drab olive color. But right now they're kind of half brilliant and half olive drab, so they look kind of funny right now. Hey everyone, this week's going to be a little bit of a different video. It's going to be a little bit of a hodgepodge uh, since we didn't really have one main thing that we did this week. We kind of had a lot of different birding experiences. So at the beginning of the week, we were down in Ohio visiting with Cass's Mima. It was her birthday, so we wanted to celebrate that with her. And we, while we were down there, we took her birding with us a couple of times and uh, we went walking in the woods and it was just nice to spend that time with her. We didn't really film much, um, but we did add a golden crown kinglet to the list, for, to the list for the year. I didn't have my camera with me, so I'll have to show you a picture that I took of it a couple years ago. Uh, this is what it looks like here. We also had our first eastern towhee just in her backyard. So our wild turkeys that we've seen in our backyard have been showing up a whole lot more lately. We've seen them three out of the past five days, and they just love pecking the ground in our backyard. From the looks we've gotten, we're seeing two adult toms, and we think there's one young male. I haven't gotten a good picture of it, but uh, we are seeing one that's starting to grow the feather out of its chest, so we think that's a young male. We're still seeing 11 total, so it's a family of 11 turkeys. On Thursday, we took a trip down to Lake St. Clair. There's been a tufted duck that's been hanging out with a group of scops near the northeastern shore. A couple that owns a cabin on the lake found the bird that day and actually let us use their backyard to try and see it. But... Oh. <laughs> what happened? It flew. Oh. It flew away about two minutes before we got there. <laughs> there was no telling when or even if it was going to come back, so... We stayed for a little while and tried to find it, but we had no luck. The, we got here right after the duck flew. <laughs> of course. And it flew across the bay, so. It's a real bummer too, because it's a Eurasian bird that isn't often seen in North America. But, you know, it's hard to be too upset about it when, you know, spring migration is really getting into full swing here, so. We're seeing more and more species showing up in our backyard. Like just this past Friday, we had a couple of brown creepers climbing up the oak trees in our yard. They're really hard to film, but we did get a little bit of them, but they're tiny little things that just never sit still. They're pretty cool to watch because they'll just climb up the bark and check looking for bugs and stuff inside of the bark. And just yesterday, we had our first yellow-bellied sapsucker of the year. It seemed to think that it was going to find something to eat in the backyard playset. <laughs> <laughs> That's plastic. <laughs> sure how much birding we're going to get to do this week with Easter coming up this Sunday, but we are very excited for the plans that we have coming up in May, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Tally likes watching the turkeys.